Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the fourth lecture of the DIP series. This is Anushti and today we're going to learn about relationship between pixels. Now first moving ahead to the neighborhood of pixels. See any image which we have can be represented with the help of pixels. Okay, where these boxes represent pixel values. Now if we move from left to right, then the x value increases. Okay, here we have x minus 1, x and x plus 1. Whereas if we move from bottom to top, then the y value increases. Here we have y minus 1, y and y plus 1. Okay, so if we consider the center element, then each of these other points can be represented with respect to the center element. Okay, so this is basically called neighborhood of pixels and we have different types of neighborhoods. Now the first type is four neighbors, that is the set of horizontal and vertical neighbors. If we consider point x, y, then the horizontal and vertical neighbors are the four neighbors of that pixel. Okay, here we have x, y plus 1, x plus 1, y, x, y minus 1 and x minus 1, y. The next one is diagonal neighbors, which is the set of four diagonal neighbors. If we consider x, y, then the diagonals the diagonal elements are represented as the diagonal neighbors of this pixel, which is x minus 1, y plus 1, x plus 1, y plus 1, x plus 1, y minus 1, and x minus 1, y minus 1. Okay. Next is 8 neighbors. Union of 4 neighbors and diagonal neighbors. See, here we consider all the cases. That is horizontal, vertical, and the diagonal elements. So that is why all the surrounding elements of this pixel are included as the eight neighbors okay and since we have the combination of both four neighbors and diagonal neighbors that is why n8p which is eight neighbors can be represented as n4p and ndp now coming to connectivity which is also known as adjacency of pixels Two pixels that are neighbors and have the same gray level are adjacent. Okay, there are different types of adjacencies. We have four adjacency, eight adjacency and M adjacency. Now let's see this with the help of an example. Suppose we have a binary image here and we have a set V equal to one, which means that only the elements of this set can be included for making the connections. So for forming the connections in this one, suppose if we choose this image, sorry, this pixel, then this can be connected to only this pixel, okay, and none other if we are considering four adjacency, okay, so this can only be connected to this one and no other one because these two are diagonal elements. So this connection is known as four adjacency. Now, if we want to connect this with the help of eight adjacency, then we'll connect this to these two ones. Okay, the diagonal elements. So this connection and this connection, it is known as eight adjacency. Okay, so similarly, if we take a grayscale image with the set one, two, three, so on till 10. Okay, so which means that the connections can be made only with the help of these elements. Only these elements can be included. So we can make this connection for four adjacency. We can connect these two elements because both of them are in the set. And this is called four adjacency. Similarly, now we can connect this and this because both of them are in the set. So this is known as eight adjacency. But if we consider this element, this is also in the set, but the neighboring elements cannot be connected. So that is why this element is not connected or not adjacent. Similarly, if we look at this one, 
the all the surrounding elements are zeros so they cannot be connected that's why this is also not connected so this was about four adjacency and eight adjacency now let's look at mixed adjacency also known as m adjacency now if you look at this particular image this particular binary image then there are many ways to make the connections if we take the set as b equal to 1 which means that only using ones we can make the connections then there are many ways to connect these ones okay these can be connected like this they can be connected like this or they can be connected like this Okay, so there are many paths in this and this gives rise to ambiguity. Now, when we have to make the connections, we need to make sure that they are unique. Okay, there should be a unique path between all the elements and that is where mixed adjacency comes into picture. Now, this rule, mixed adjacency says that when you have to make the connections and if there are more than one ways, which means that if it can be connected if two elements can be connected using four adjacency and eight adjacency then you need to give priority to four adjacency path okay which means that if it can be connected using four adjacency then do not connect it using eight adjacency now let's look at this image again these two elements they can be connected only using four adjacency, right? These two elements, they can be connected only using eight adjacency. So we'll connect these two. Now these two elements, they can be connected using four adjacency as well as eight adjacency, right? So when that is possible, you need to connect it only using four adjacency. So that is why we just put a connection between these two so that this is connected with this element only using four adjacency okay so this is the unique path and this particular example is of mixed adjacency all right so that was it about the relationship between pixels and connectivities or adjacencies I'll see you in the next one.